Oh, shoot, darn. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. Not a lot, just forever, by Adrian Linker. Of Big Thief fame, people of the world, friends and relatives. It's not as hard as it sounds. Like, it's pretty hard, but it's also... Pre it's it's also doable. It's not in standard tuning. It's in like double drop D flat is the best way to describe it. So here's the deal. I'm... Uh, I don't want to do this. You tune all six strings down a half step and then you tune the top string and the bottom string down an additional full step. So then from the top, we've got D flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, D flat. Uh, and also your tuner might call it C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. Close one, it sounds like this. Great job. Guys, let's learn the introduction to the song. You're gonna put your pointer finger on 12 of the second string from the top. You're gonna put your ring finger on 14 of the third string from the top. All of the other strings are open. Let's learn this picking pattern. It is a very peculiar, strange picking pattern. Your thumb plays the second string from the top. Then your thumb plays the third string from the top. Then your pointer finger plays third string from the bottom. Then middle finger plays second from the bottom. So that was just thumb, thumb, pointer, middle. One, two, play with me. Boom, boom, bing, bang. One more time, here we go. Thumb, thumb, pointer, middle. So far, we're doing fine. Then your thumb is going to play the third string from the top again. And then your ring finger is going to play the bottom string. If you want to use your middle finger, that's okay, but I recommend ring finger, and I'm going to keep using my ring finger there. So we're going thumb, thumb, pointer, middle, thumb, ring. There we go. Play it with me, Brochambeau. Boom, boom, bing, bang, thumb, ring. Great job. One more time, be a slob. Boom, boom, bing, bang, boom, bang. Okay, then your thumb is going to play the third string from the top again, and then your pointer finger plays the third string from the bottom. So that was eight notes long. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Guys, my name's Stuart. I would like to welcome you to the channel. Consider subscribing to the channel. I've got other great songs by Big Thief and other artists as well. Let's get back to the song. The hardest thing about this song is learning this eight note picking pattern and getting fast at it and getting comfortable with it. Start slow, practice it for like a couple minutes, then go do something else, then practice it for a couple minutes more. Also, I recommend like, you're not gonna wanna hear this, but like let a couple weeks go by where you're just practicing this picking pattern and you're not worrying about all the chords. Like just practice this, the intro is all one chord, so you can practice this intro for a little while before you move on to the rest of the song. I just, I think that would be a wise decision. Guys, let's play this picking pattern some more. Nice and slow. Let's do it. Let's see if we can do it two times in a row. One, two, here we go. Thumb, thumb, pointer, middle, thumb, bottom, thumb, pointer. Boom, 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 boom. Great job. Okay. Let's try a little faster, maybe. Like, boom, da, go, da, boom, ga, dun, da. One, and a two, and a four times in a row. How you doing? Great. Glad to hear it. I sped up a little bit, sorry. Oh, and then I did a little... Not, not bringing my A game today, guys. The intro to the song is just that exact picking pattern on those exact notes ocho times in a row. That's Spanish for eight. I'm surprised you didn't know that. After the intro, we keep the same picking pattern going, but we're gonna change chords. So, after the eight times for the intro, you're gonna go to 10 on the second string from the top and 12 on the third string from the top and do the exact same picking pattern. So it's thumb, thumb, pointer, middle, thumb, ring, thumb, pointer. Just like before, all eight notes. Now check this out. Here's something a little bit different. So we've got the eight notes, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the last two notes, seven and eight, we're gonna play them, but I want you to let go of the chord. 
for those last two and just play the open string. So it ends up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Practice that with me. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I messed up one more time. And one, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Open up. Great job. Okay, the reason we let go of those chords, well, there's two reasons. One, because it sounds cool. Two is because it gives us a chance to switch to the next chord. The next chord, by the way, is put your ring finger on nine of the second string from the top, and then your pointer finger is gonna play seven on the third string from the top. Here's the bad news. Your pointer finger also needs to smash down on seven of the third string from the bottom and seven on the third, second string from the bottom. So it's got this weird, Adrian Linker likes her weird, uh, uncomfortable chords. So you're like this. It's kind of a weird like half bar chord. Do the exact same picking pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, let go. Let's practice going from the 10 and 12 to that nine and seven chord. It's gonna be brutal. You're gonna love it. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you go to two on the second string from the top and four on the third string from the top and do the picking pattern twice in a row. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, that is the first chunk of the verse. Let's go ahead and play through that first chunk all the way through, starting from the 10 and 12. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, let go. One, two, three, four, five, six, let go. Two, four, bing, bang, gong, gang, doom, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. Then we go back to the 9777 chord. You're going to do this one twice in a row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let go. Then you go back to 2 and 4, and you do this one twice again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight. Guys, we have completed the verse, and now we're going into the chorus. But, well, okay, let's play the verse all the way through. How about that? One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, switch chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, stay here. One, two, three, four, back up to nine and seven. One, two, Four, stay on this one. Boom, ga, dum, ba, boom, ga, boom, switch. Boom, ga, dum, ga, boom, ga, dum, ba, stay there. The picking is starting to sort of be okay, right? I mean, we're still, we're probably doing the picking at like half speed right now, but, but we're getting there. We're getting used to it. Okay, great. We've got the verse under control. Moving on to the chorus. Bad news about the chorus is the picking changes a little bit for the chorus. It's mostly the same, but there's an extra little thing. So first, let me show you what chord we're going to start with for the chorus. Have your pointer finger smash down on two of the top two strings, and then your pinky is going to play five on the third string from the top. So it's two, two, five right there, and then the rest are all open. Okay, so make sure you're using the tip of your pinky and make sure you're not leaning your pointer finger down on all of the strings. Okay, so here's what the picking is doing. You're gonna play the top string with your, it's still eight notes long. It's just, well, you'll see. So you play the top string with your thumb. Then you're gonna play the third string from the top with your thumb. Then third from the bottom with your pointer finger. And then you're going to play the second string from the bottom with your middle finger, but at the same time, play the second string from the top with your thumb. So that's one, two, three, pinch. Thumb, thumb, pointer, pinch. Play with me. Here we go. Thumb, thumb, pointer, pinch. One more time. It's such a snitch. One, two, three, four. Great job. Then... Immediately after that, your thumb plays third string from the top, ring finger plays the bottom string, thumb plays third from the top again, then pointer finger plays third from the bottom. So the ending was the same as our regular picking pattern. The whole thing goes like this. Thumb, thumb, 
Pointer, pinch, thumb, ring, thumb, pointer, play with me twice in a row. Thumb, thumb, pointer, pinch, thumb, ring, thumb, pointer, thumb, thumb, pointer, pinch, thumb, bottom, thumb, pointer. Great job. So uh, we're going to do that twice in a row, just like we just did. Then we're gonna switch chords. This next chord is a little bit difficult to get to people. What you're gonna do is put your ring finger on seven of the top string, put your pinky on seven of the third string from the top, put your middle finger on six of the third string from the bottom, and your pointer finger on five of the second string from the bottom, and you're gonna do the exact same picking pattern. Thumb, thumb, pointer, pinch, thumb, ring, thumb, pointer, do that twice, in a row you're so great i watch you grow i think those last two chords were sort of like a little mini pre-chorus but i'm just calling them part of the chorus just just because and okay let's get into the next part we're doing fine we're doing fine you guys what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your pointer finger on 12 of the top string it's also gonna mash down onto 12 of the second string from the top and then you need to reach up to 14 on the third string from the top. So, ah, wait, no, 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 guys. It's 16, not 14. So you're on 12 and 16. This might sound crazy, but I actually like to use my ring finger for that. If I use my pinky, my pinky like mutes the other strings and it's just not good. When I use my ring finger, it feels like it's gonna be a crazy stretch at first, but it's actually not that bad. Just make sure your thumb is not poking up over the top. You're on 12. 12 and 16. You're gonna do the exact same picking again, except halfway through, you're gonna move your ring finger down to 14 like that. So watch this, I'm going thumb, thumb, pointer, pinch, move my ring finger down to there. You see that? You see what I did? It was one, two, three, four, move my ring finger and finish the pattern. Let's practice that two times one two watch this again ah shoot darn oh well it's fine we did fine you know what we'll get them next time guys so you actually only do that once you just go bonka dum ba bonka bonka ah shoot darn i forgot to move the finger guys we go over these things for a reason. You need to pay attention. Okay, fine, we're doing great. We're doing great. I can tell the rest of this video is gonna go really well. Then, stay on this 12, 12, and 14 and do the picking pattern one more time regular. When I say regular, I mean don't move anything around. Then, next chord, guys. Nine on the top string, mash down on nine of the second string from the top, and then with either your pinky or your ring finger, I don't care, play 12 on the third string from the top, do the regular picking pattern twice. Then we're gonna switch to seven and 11, you guys. Whoa, there we go. So seven, seven, and 11, do the picking pattern two times. Then you're gonna go to five, five, and nine. I know it seems like a stretch, but I think you can do it even if you have small hands. Like, I don't think Adrian Linker has the biggest hands in the world. I don't know. I don't have that sort of data. I don't, I'm not a statistician. I do not have hand size data. I don't know. But just make sure your thumb is back here. Look where my thumb is. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Very cool, very cool. I just got very nervous because here's the thing, I'm not wearing shoes and I got very worried that I may have shown off my feet in that last little thing. It makes me very uncomfortable. So here's what we did. We did 12 and 16 down to 14. Stayed on 12 and 14, guys. Then nine and 12, great job. Do it twice, do me fly. Seven and 11, that's a place you can buy a Slurpee in my face. Then five and nine, it's really great. I lost track of the picking, guys. Okay, um, you just do that twice and that's the chorus. We've learned the chorus. Learned the chorus. So here's the deal. We actually, uh, we have a little thing we have to look at for the ending, but we've actually learned all the notes from the song now. Like after that, it goes, let's see, I wrote down the order of the parts. We do all that, 
Then we do the verse again. Then we do the chorus again. Then we do the verse again. Then we do the chorus again. Then we play the intro again. Then we play the verse again. Then we play the chorus again. And then we play the ending that we'll talk about in a second. It's not, it's not that bad. You're going to love it. It's going to be fine. You're not going to wish you were dead after you did it. Um, so really what I think we should do now is we'll play through the whole thing. Well, okay, let's let's do this. Let's play through the whole chorus. Let's play through the whole chorus slowly, and then and and then you you can leave or whatever. One, two, the whole chorus. What is too fast? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'll do it slower. Five and six, and here we go, guys. Stay there. Then switch to 9 and 12 Again Then 7 and 11 I like this chord. I think it's very pretty. Then 5 and 9 You're doing great, then start it over this is so much fun to do than 9 and 12. Great job. Get ready for the slurpy time. 7 11. And then to 5 and 9. Fantastic work. So what we're gonna do for a minute now is we're gonna go back to the intro and we're just gonna see if we can't speed up this picking pattern a little bit. So go back to the intro, it's 12, second string from the top, 14, third string from the top. We were going about like this. Now we're gonna do, let's, let's see if we can do it like. One and a two and a one, two, three, four. do it four times. All right, you're doing great. You're doing great. Let's see if, let's push ourselves a little bit. Let's go. One and a two e and a three e. Someone's hammering. One, two, here we go. Good. You want to do it a little faster? Ignore the hammering. It doesn't even matter. One, two, here we go. I did a great job. You gave up partway through, and I was a little bit embarrassed to even know you. Okay, so let's. So we're gonna get to the ending in just a second. But first, let's talk through all the parts of the song really quick. The intro, you do it eight times, like I said. Then we get to the verse, you play that once. Then you get to the chorus, you play the chorus twice all the way through. Then we get to the second verse, it's the same as the first verse. Then you get to the second chorus, it's the same as the first one. Then verse three is the same, then chorus three is the same. Then the bridge is just the intro again. So you just play the intro eight times. Then we get to verse four, exactly the same. Then we get to chorus four, exactly the same, which takes us to the outro, guys. Outro goes like this, you ready? Here's what it is. We're on the 9777 chord. You're gonna do that twice. But you leave off the last two notes. Then we're gonna switch to 7555. Five, five. It's just that same shape, but moved over, and you go. Do it twice all the way through. Then we're gonna go to this weird chord. Pinky plays five seconds string from the top. Ring finger plays four third string from the top and your pointer finger mashes down on two of the bottom three strings and you're just gonna play bunky bunky bing, just like that. It's a beautiful chord. This right here looks to be some sort of a D major seven chord, guys. That concludes today's tutorial lesson on the guitar for not a lot, 
Just Forever by Adrian Linkar, as presented prevented by Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown. I'm sorry that I said her last name wrong just a second ago. I was aware of it, but it was too late. There was nothing I could do about it. <laughs>